I was incorrect. It's Fen over on Colin's side. Corin VS1, yeah, that's my intent, to, that adaptability in VI can't get you above 9. What's the point? I feel like 9 should be the pilot skill cap, personally speaking. Agreed. Because if you know the way they've balanced the game up until now, every native pilot skill 9 ship, mm -hmm. other than the, the new current aces that we're seeing with Nim and Quickdraw, they always have an ability or a build setup that actually warrants them to take something other than VI or expertise or thing anyway. So that's just my two cents. All right. We have Wes charging forward, using his flight assist to astromech. MDL0114, he read my mind. That's actually what I was thinking, just an 11-point bid with Whisper and Kylo. I just bid, bid to 12, buddy. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like Francois has the initiative. So that was huge. And can you explain to us why you think that's the case, Aaron? Because uh, Francois's Poe, which is identical to Colin's Poe, just moved first. Which means that Kyle, Colin's going to be able to arc dodge one Poe with the other. And his Fen will also be able to uh, at least not get arc dodged by uh, Francois's Poe. Now, Francois's opening is actually very, very interesting. I, I'm assuming we're probably going to see a hard two from the Wookiee. Uh, well, it's next turn, obviously, to get them back into a nice formation block. Uh, that's a very unique and interesting opening. Mm -hmm. Colin's looking like he wants to go super fast, mm -hmm. as fast as fast Rebels can go. Yeah, I mean, bespoke openings are pretty much the thing with your Rebel 3-ship and 4-ship lists. And is that because there's just so many unique different similar uh, synergies and things like that that allow you for very unique positions? Like, we saw you yesterday on stream do some quite beautiful formation readjustment and stuff like that with your force ship and do you think that has to and again is that because of the coordinate and because of the flight assist or is it just the nature of a four and three ship rebel that it allows you to have a very unique and, and bespoke openings as you said um so there are two questions there one yeah. is about the openings and the other is about how you bring the formations back into shape uh, so i'll speak to the first one first you need uh, control in an opening when you're a, a three or four ship rebel list because mm -hmm. you, you don't have a lot of repositioning and generally the other the enemy ships are faster and they reposition. So you need to be where you want to be. Mm -hmm. You've got to account for different openings on their part and they're like two or three. So you need to have something really stable and flexible to open with. As for getting your ships back into position uh, later on in the game, mm -hmm. that's just that's just practice. Yeah, skill. And that's something that you can practice at home if you're wanting to learn a little bit more about formation flying. Uh, tape out, tape out a four by four, a three by three setup for yourself. Put some bases down and just practice. Mm -hmm. That's okay. a great way to learn. Okay, so we got lists up. Uh, say, Em, do you want to read us Colin's list? Sure. Colin's got Poe Dameron with Veteran Instincts, R two D two, Advanced Optic, Advanced Optics, Auto Thrusters, and the Black One title. Yeah. Um, he's also got Fen Rao in the shuttle with Veteran Instincts, Hotshot Co-Pilot, and the Flight Assist Astromech. And then he's got Wes Jansen with Veteran Instincts, the Flight Assist Astromech, and the Integrated Astromech. Awesome. So it's a very slim Wes. Yeah. It's Wes I favor, too. That's about as slim as you can possibly make him, I think. Yep. I mean, you can use adaptability instead of veteran instincts, but then he's only nine. I really think his power comes in being a ten, Con completely counteracting what I just finished saying about the VI. Well, no. I think in the current you've got somebody matched at the same pilot skill as you with Wes. You actually have a tricky choice because mm -hmm. if you have initiative, um, then you'll be able to remove their tokens by shooting first, uh, or you could try to outthink them and arc dodge them and give the initiative. Don't think that's gonna fit, Colin. <laughs> nope. Can try. He's barrel rolling up. And then you guys wanna talk through Francois' list as well? Oh yeah. So Francois is flying Poe Dameron with exactly the same build. Uh, that's the popular Poe. He's got Lorik with Predator Ray and Tactician. Very nice. So that gives him some attack efficiency with Predator. And it gives him Ray for defense or attack deficiency. So he's coming in slow here, building up tokens for his Ray. And finally, he has what's becoming what's become the standard Strezra build, Snapshot, Hera, and R3A2. So if you come within range one of Ezra's front arc, he performs, if you move there, if you end a maneuver there, he performs a Snapshot, 
and he can stress you with that um, and maybe do some damage, but the main point is dealing with stress. He's got R3A2, so he can throw stress at you by taking stress. And finally, he has Hera, so he can continue to perform red maneuvers while he is stressed. And while stressed, Ezra treats all eyeballs and uh, evade results as successes. So he can do all the things. You're a fan of that uh, Strezra build. I believe you ran that yesterday. Yep. Um, I mean, I think the gunner version might be better, but it's two points more. And also it requires flying a different way. Mm. And, the, um, Francois. and as the chat's been pointing out, Francois does not enjoy at all what Collins List is all about. That Fenrau hot cop is the bane. NPS 11 is the bane of uh, Advanced Optics Poe. Um, that one of the powers of the new Poe and him seeing him becoming yet again as popular as even though he was popular before but the fact that now he can take that VI and the advanced optics means he's not necessarily needing his actions for anything other than the boost or barrel roll um, and it's made him a lot more powerful in this sort of situation so I'm, I'm thinking that's going to be one of the things that Francois is going to have to find a way of dealing with yeah I mean that's absolutely his problem Poe will not keep his focus token between rounds be between Wes or or um or uh, Fen, yeah, yeah, it's going to be very difficult. He's going to be token starved. No, he will shoot first. Francois Poe will shoot first, so... Um, He'll at least get to take advantage of it on the offensive yeah. role. Except for the fact that... Um, oh, that's right, because of initiative and VI, right. Um, I mean, Lorik's not to be discounted here. Lorik with those uh, abilities, with those uh, upgrades on him, he's going to throw her... Yeah. Not great big piles of hurt, but it's going to be consistent and good. Yeah. And he's got Tactician as well, so if Cullen's guys get snowed under stress, they're in trouble. Wes in particular. Now, I don't think this position for Wes was intentional, but it's actually quite nice. He's going to be able to do one bank, maybe a two bank. Yeah. Uh, A.B. Estenis was asking before, he doesn't understand Wes Jansen's role in this, being the lowest PS and shooting off target locks. But Collins built is basically a, ship, a list that's essentially immune to three harpoons around. Yep. Unless they're shooting at PS11, which is only VI quick draw, which we don't normally see all that time. Yep. So I think that's the thing. He's trying to cover... I gotta admit, this is a well-thought-out list that covers a lot of bases in the meta right now. Poe is good against target locks. Uh, Fen is good against literally everything. Uh, and then Wes is going to take care of whatever else he got left over. And at the end of the day, with the flight assist, we're seeing a big resurgence in the T65, what they can do. Yes, they still only have two evade die. Yes, they can destroy. But he's only 31 points. Yeah. If you kill two-thirds of Colin's list, he still has a 43-point po Poe, who you've probably given up at least one or two ships to try to get down to the last ship. Mm -hmm. And you're going one-on-one -on -one with Poe, and that's nowhere anybody wants to be in that matchup. So as you see here, uh, Francois has done a three-turn with Ezra before they engage, mm -hmm. that stresses him and gives him his defensive mod. Exactly. And this version, this build on the Ezra really loves being that stressed. Yeah. And Wes does one bank. I mean, heck, having given away the initiative, Colin has so many advantages here. He can boost if he wants. He knows exactly his distance from these guys. So Colin elected to use Flight Assist Astromech. He's allowed to measure to see if he's in arc at range 3 before he, he elects to it. use it. He's just going to get a shot on Poe here. So I like what it. what will Francois do? How does he get out? Four straight and boost? If he saw that coming, splitting them up, I think so. Yeah. He might have to play at Poe as a, as a standalone ace. As you said, four straight. Good call. Called it. I mean, he did. Now is the question, did Colin call it? Yeah. Because he could hard two with his Poe. I think he'll probably make his Poe move straight, but he might uh, have his Fen swing a bit wide. Do these guys have an arc on each other? Corvinius won for the S-Foils cards. I still think we need to know fully what it does before we see the impact it'll have on the game. Uh, I'm just ex really excited about the PS1 X-Wing. I really hope it's 20 points mm -hmm. or 19. Ideally, five X wings on a. On a if they want to, if they want to sell boxes, is. they'll make it nineteen. And a one point droid. So cynical. Okay, we got a three straight from Colin. Silent R I P. Duncan has not been on stream. He's done his. He has the choice and has elected to. He, I mean, he hasn't like elected not to play. We just we understand that he's not always wanting to play and on stream, and we haven't asked him to go on stream yet. That's all it is. He's zero and five, by the way. In case anybody's curious. He's playing Tim Ralphs right now. Yes, he is. 
and they're both standing up and all. Oh, I'm lying. Of course he's 5-0. Oh. I'm just saying. Thinking. I'm trying to troll him when he comes up here. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Stuck in Howard 0-5. <laughs> did you say 0 and 5? I did. You said 0 and 5. Yeah. I know. It's I'm sorry, surprised folks. the chat hasn't lost it yet. No, I know. I'm getting. I love Duncan. It's fine. All right, let's get back to this game. Ooh, leapfrogging with the Poe. Oh, with the. Uh, that was the. Um, Fenrell went first, right? Yep. Leapfrog forward. R5 D4 is, is giving you some trash talk with the luck of the Irish there, Smee. Mm hmm. What were the records for these two, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, so uh, I think they're both four and one. Okay, so we're, um, we're, we're thinking these are both four and ones. So uh, Fen used his coordinate to give Wes a target lock. Which I like. Yeah. Knowing that he can't shoot at Poe, he's not going to get shot at by Poe. Yeah. They'll take the range three on the shuttle, which the Strezler is going to cause a problem for Colin's list. I think if I'm Colin, I want uh, Strezler gone ASAP. Try to work on... Try to work on your uh, Lorik and keep one of my ships alive for yeah. that uh, Poe versus Poe matchup. It'll be boring to watch if it happens, but if it comes down to an end game of Poe versus Poe, Colin can just disengage when things get dicey. Yeah, absolutely. At Corvinius 1, uh, I completely agree with you. Krennicon Suncher is going to be awesome. Excited about that as well. Krennicon Whisper. So you got two hits from the shit that That's not a, it's not, a, not too shabby of a showing. Mm-hmm. Ben's going to get stressed here. Uh, the chat also mentioned it earlier, but we'll say that because as we're seeing as, as um, Wes being elected, what are, what are your guys' thoughts, um, mechanically speaking, if all ability, token ability abilities, like Wes's and Carnor's, works on Reinforce as well? What do you think about that? I like it. I want it to happen. Okay. I think that would be fair. Right? It is a token. It wasn't planned, you know, when they made those abilities, so... Yeah. I agree. I think that would be a really great um, uh, soft nerf they could bring back in. It wouldn't be... It still would be amazing. Jam token as well. Yeah, I completely agree with you. The jam token should operate. We might actually see the jam missile a little bit more. Probably not. <laughs> if it defeated Wookiees, I'd fly it in a couple things. Mm. It's only a couple points. Okay, we've been talking too much and I lost track of the action. Yeah, that's my fault. Uh, we got lots of evades. Did he elect not to stress with R3A2 when he fired? So nobody took any damage there? And it also looks like Francois elected to not double stress on the R3A2? I think I stressed Why that Fen. I don't know. I think I absolutely stressed that Fen as soon oh, as possible. He might want to use a coordinate action this round. Ah. Oh, uh, you know what? Low wreck at range one with a focus and an arena force is very, very scary. He's got Ray. He's got focuses banked. Well, then I just do not know. No, no, no. We'd have to uh, have to have been on this table on the table to figure that one out. Judge. Chat saying Ezra is on three hull. I'll go check. We're gonna, we're gonna, thanks, chat. We're gonna confirm that for us right now. I'll be Aaron while he's checking. Absolutely, we'll get a damage update on you for you. Yeah, exactly. Players have got all the cards and stuff off of the table, so it's a little bit difficult for us to keep up with it. We appreciate you being on point and helping us figure that stuff out, as always. So, Emily, in this situation, you're Francois, what are you doing? I know that's a very cop-out question. I always put it on you. I know, yeah. I'm sorry. Now I have to think. <laughs> There's a reason that I didn't, you know, win four games yesterday. I, I mean, you want to get rid of that other Poe, but I don't know how good your chances are with, you know, Lorik and Ezra where they are. Right. So. So you, you also know Wes is going to move. Uh, Collins West will have to move first, so Francois could bring his Poe in that rock formation and bring him out in pincer, make a make the best of a situation where you have to split them up. Yeah. Well, I like Francois's pose position. Yeah, yeah as we were saying, maybe yeah. he could hard two and then bring him in with the boost or, or something like that to get him into a pincer situation. Colin's gonna have to go a bit quicker with his, um, with his, fen to make some space for his pose for the one straight. He'll have to go at least two speed with it. 
Do you? The bookies have a three bank, don't they? Yeah. What if you th three bank your whole team and try to block? Uh, I think. I mean, Lurich's that's three bank would hit the rock. Ah. Besides, he wants a stress trap here. Oh, the tactician. Yes, the, yeah. that that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, the tactician on the ra on the Wookiee arc is just brutal. It casts such a big net of despair. So Ezra has to stay stressed. He, he wants to use snap. Yep, I like that too. Yeah. I like all. I like all. I like all this positioning. Unless Ben three banks left or smacks into Ezra, he's taking that stress. Yeah. He could take double stress in this time. He gets, he gets stress off the snapshot, and then he can also stress off of his range one shot if he gets it right. Yep. Ooh, so Wes is going to be able to flight assist into the unreinforced rear arc of the Wookiee. Yep, that's something. I think so. I don't mind that. <laughs> it's always fun to fire into an unprotected rear. I know. I'm sorry. I, I know to. you did it on purpose. I had to. I had to. I had to. That was my one. That was your one? I think we did like four in the last <laughs> Chat's got some interesting conceptualizations for the Krennic when he comes out. I'm seeing the world Howl Runner rolled, rolled around. That would be interesting. Sorry? A one shield Howl Runner who can then strip shields off of other ships. Crack Swarms, are we coming back, boys? I don't know. We'll see. Actually, that is kind of nice. So, I, I mean, I know Colin initially measured the barrel roll. Um, I actually like the boost a lot better because the barrel roll would have then put him into Lorik's tactician arc. So, I don't know. Well, we know where Lorik is going to go next turn. He's going to hard two. Yep. So that's what he's threatening to do. Yeah. I think I would have done the three turn there. And then the boost? Uh, you know what? There might not have been room for the boost. So never mind. Me, Francois is right. This two gives him the options. Now, does he boost? That's probably me. Yeah. I'm probably the low volume one. So he attempts the boost. Well, now I'm too loud. My voice is busting. And he's going to fit in beautifully. Nice. He's got Fen's arc to worry about, but... Yeah. Let's Castle Prime, happens. I love them too. It's just a little bit difficult to fly them in the current meta. So that looks like it's going to be Snap City. Snap City. Yep. That's close. Nah, that's in. That's in? No that's question. Pas de question. Yeah, so that'll stress voilà. Fen. Nice, nice, nice. Yep. It's a great move by Francois. Yep. We're going to measure it with lasers. Don't make us call a judge. No. Okay, good. <laughs> Sometimes you just want to confirm. Yep. Ooh, that hit hit? Or just one yep. hit? So one damage on Fen. Oof. You've got to love that. Yeah. Yep. Can't be mad at a hit. One damage on Fen Rao. And Colin's Fen. And, you know, in a way, that's not going to be double stress, but um, the Wookiee punching Fen in the face here. Well, would he not be able to fire at range one on, on his turn and stress him again? Dark 3 h 2 On oh, that yeah. Fen? He yeah. can double stress Fen for sure. Yeah. Shutting down his ability for two rounds. And the coordinate goes away. Yeah. Ooh, or do you stress? Oh. I don't think so. I like how Colin has put the focus token in his pose numbers plate as if he's saying he's never going to spend it. Yeah. Or is he mind gaming? I don't know. Is that is that the high level mind games he's he playing? I guess he himself plans to never encounter Hotshot Fen. <laughs> that's the that's that's a, that's that's a recipe for victory. Mm -hmm. Just never fight, fight against Fen. Uh, Casso Prime says, "I just flew Sabak to twentieth at my first ever regional at Team Covenant." Congratulations, Casso Prime. That's awesome. Yep. We have a we have a higher we have a, a Sabak in high placing right now. Phil horny has got one on him today. He's got countdown. Oh, sorry, my mistake. I apologize. You're right. Sabak is the second best. I just got extracted by strikers. Yeah. Okay. So that's cocked, or are you going to call that out a thing? So now, actually, so this, here's the thing I want to bring up. I know it's potentially one of those point of contentions or not, but to me, that was an evade. If you pull that rock out of the way, it falls flat onto the evade token. I don't think that's You're cocked. completely wrong by the rules. I understand that, but rules as written versus rules as intended. What do you think? That's not even a relevant topic. Well, it should be, because I feel like it's wrong for the spirit of the game. Um, no. You, you, okay, what's going on here? Violence. Well, I guess Ben's shooting on Ezra? Yeah. They're all shooting on Ezra. Yep. 
trying to kill him. But Lorik's back there. Mm, that's Poe and Ezra, I think. He's spending the lock. Oh, no, that's Wes. Ah, uh, that's Wes on Lorik? I don't know. It has to be. Apologies, uh, Chad. I, again, I went off on another tangent, and I completely yeah, derailed right the focus of this game. I'm the worst. Right Derail. Ah, he spent his focus. Just as we were talking about it, that's hilarious. Ha-ha. <laughs> and he only did two damage on... Did he spend Lorik's token? He did. He spent Lorik's token, so and he took two damage on Ezra. Yeah. Ezra, yeah. Ezra and now one Fen life. is shooting at Lorik because he's tokenless. Yep. And he's getting hit crit. Let's see if it gets through. Oh, no, that's Wes. Pardon me. Yep, that makes sense. Still only hit crit. No so. token for Wes to shoot off. So that is Lorik shields gone. Yep. Two damage. Thank you, Francois. Two damage on Lorik, Two damage on Lorik. yep. Ooh, so now if you're Strezra, do you fire... Okay, that's a good call. Yeah. Should do that one first. They always hit that beautiful range Predator. one. Predator. Ah. So hit crit on Fen. Fen is shieldless. So and he crit, takes crit one. Through. That was on yes. Finn Rao. Yeah, that's he okay. tries to show us, but we can't see it. Maybe they'll announce it. Yeah. So. <laughs> Colin is. Oh, it was, oh, major, it was explosion. Major, major explosion. Major <laughs> explosion. Colin uh, giving a little love to his die. It yes. seemed to work for him. It's a good tactic. I'm going to try that next time in the future. Okay, we're not sharing dice to me. <laughs> I'm going to use your die next time and kiss him. <laughs> and that's going to be his ultimate mind game. Um, has Ezra had a chance to fire yet, is the question. No, he's up next. Do I you fire range one on Poe and stress him? Nah, you double stress the ship. You get Ben double stressed. You think? No actions. Oh. Oh, Ezra they've. Must we've, he must have. And we went to Dallas. Well, that's odd. Hey there. So I got I to gotta, I gotta say then, if I'm... I'm calling. I'm okay with that exchange. That seems like I came out on top in that situation. I put a lot of damage in. Would have liked to have killed Ezra, but... You're uh, close. Yeah, right? He's hanging on. And, and to get those three shields off Low Rick without having to worry about the reinforce, that was mm -hmm. key. However, this is a traffic jam now. We've got, we've got 6 p.m. on the DVP. What's going on? Well, regardless of what Low Rick does, he's going to get shot without a token. Uh, regardless of what Lorik does, he's going to get shot without a token. Um, I think the two turn to the right will clip that rock. Ship right? Yep. And then reinforce the rear? No, but he, he won't be able to yeah. clip? So, in all likelihood, Wes is going to turn in after Lorik, chase him, and shoot him. Uh, Francois Poe is in a bad spot. There's yes. nowhere for him to go. No BB-8, so he can't barrel roll first. He's bumping someone. But he should still have his focus token, right? Uh, I believe he spent it for damage. Okay. Maybe he expected being shot from from Poe, uh, Ben? There's also a chance that Colin decided to use um, rear arc hot shot to strip that focus token. Mm -hmm. Hot shot. And I was too busy derailing the conversation to notice that, so yeah. sorry about that, guys. <laughs> this time we're going to pay attention. Yeah. yeah. And the chat's saying that we're thinking that uh, Ezra might have missed his uh, target, his uh, opportunity to attack. Maybe because of the snapshot, he felt like in his mind that he already attacked and forgot the timing window. Maybe. Good lesson there, folks. Slow down and take your time when you're on stream. It gets exciting up there. Absolutely. If the, the hot lights, the, uh, the, the not necessarily the fear, but the worry of people watching you and analyzing what it is you're doing. The adulation of fans. It can be a little bit, of, it can a little be, it's a bit intimidating. You know, I've, like I said, I've, luckily I've casted a lot more than I've been on stream, uh, mm -hmm. probably for a lack of ability, but that's exactly it. It, it can get a little bit intense. So yeah, I mean, sorry, this is a, I don't know where I fly around with all the traffic jammy stuff. I mean... I, maybe Wes wants to do a K turn. Um, Is Wes K turn here? Yeah, he might do a hard turn. Mm. Where would the hard two put him? That might put him in the. Oh, but he's got flight. Uh, be something in the way. You know what? That's actually a really good call, though. He would, depending on where the Lorik goes. If he hard turns upward, he might be having a shot on Francois Poe. But I mean, do you want to just shoot at Poe with only one arc? I feel like if you're gonna go after him, you gotta commit. And he's got so much he wants to get off the board maybe first. I don't know. And he's done so much work on Lorik and Ezra. It'd be a shame to, to, to miss that. 
That would be interesting, though, if uh, Francois does the, the hard two ship right and um, Colin does the 4K, he won't get a shot on low rec. So maybe he just went straight and sees what happens. Mm -hmm. Either way, this is about to get a little bit uh, like we're going to see some rubbing, I think. There's going to yep. be some bumping. I mean, I think Francois' Poe might be able to do a four straight, but then he's looking at another uh, another rock next round, and it's not clear that he'll have anybody in arc. That Ezra four is move. dicey. Yeah. And then you're right, he's definitely looking at a rock next turn, because he has no barrel roll ability. So I think the big question is, where is Ezra going to go? And right now, I think... Uh, a turn to the left makes sense. Maybe a bank three beyond uh, to the right, ship right. That's what I was thinking. They have yeah. that, right? Yep. And what speed is their K turn? Four. I don't think that'll fit. On one life, you don't want a K turn oh, through a rock. Of course, the thing in the way is his own Poe, which will move afterwards. Uh, I bet you the 4K clears. It's just that he has to fly through the rock, and that's a less than ideal situation oh. when you have one life left. So, yeah, this is a tough, tough situation for Francois. Yeah, I agree. What's the fastest the shit that Pete can go forward? Four. Four strain? And that's Which white is, or red? It's red. Yeah. So, Collins' um, Fenrau is in a bit of a situation here, too. Where's he going to go? Um, he wants to clear stress. He doesn't want to make, he doesn't want to block his own Poe. Three straight. And that's green. Lorik won't be there. That's true. He's got no barrel roll. That's a good call. That makes the most sense. Which means that his West has got to go somewhere where he's not going to be in the way. R3A2. Yeah, so this is definitely a turn you guys spend a lot of time trying to figure out because this is a swingy turn. Attention Armada players, time now is 7.15 p.m. This round will end at 9.30. Funwalk says, uh, Arg, writing is difficult. Uh, Funwalk, you should try casting for five rounds, talking for five rounds, man. <laughs> I always thought sportscasters were a joke, not a real... Uh, job at all, but it turns out I was wrong. JRV 1981, this isn't necessarily top table. These are 4 and 1 records, I believe. Yeah, this is table 8, so yeah. they're up there. Yeah, they're definitely up there. It's top ish, but and they're also matches that really, really want that win. Well, but they're they're both, sorry. They both are definitely making it through to the rounds tomorrow, so they just want to get in there now with more points. Yeah, MOV is really what's going to count tomorrow. Uh, Kasperionix, the overlay is custom software written by VTTTV. The only place to get it is by watching their content. And they have a Patreon. Yeah, and YouTube and Twitch as well. Yeah, this is a sure to follow, huge like, library of stuff on their page for X-Wing. As well as Armada, yeah. Netrunner. L5R, Netrunner, they're casting. They've got double casting setups today right now, trying to cover as much of the events as they can. In that Imperial Assault game, like three people play. I think it's six. All right. Sadly, they don't cast Rune Wars. For the one of us that plays this game. This is you. I, I forgot how to play. I'm not even going to play tomorrow. I'm not sure. All right. Back to the game again. Stop letting me derail the conversation. Ooh, I really like that. Don't know if he clears. If, if he clears. If. Yep. And, and uh, Colin bumps his Poe. He gets hot shot. Yeah. No. Uh... Do you mean snapshot? Snapshot, yes, whatever. It the doesn't shot. work One from the, the back shots. arc. It doesn't? No. Technically, it's a secondary weapon, so it only works at the front. Ah, that is good to know. However, for anybody playing me tomorrow, uh, assume it works out the back arc. <laughs> Zihad 2. As you, as you called that movie, that's a good choice. I like it. Now... But what we didn't see is that Ezra would stick himself in that arc. Yes. Yeah. 
One straight? Yeah. One bank. Oh, one bank. He doesn't want to end up on the rock. Yeah. He's definitely safe from the rock. With we should get man. we yeah. should get the other pull out of there and get that done properly. Hopefully they do that. Back seat X wing repositioner. Graham's over there, so it's cool. Many hands. <laughs> Many pointing, much pointing. You do this. No, do that. <laughs> And then do that. <laughs> oh, my God. Jazz hands. A.B. Astinius. It's actually a top eight progression cut. There's two rounds of Swiss tomorrow, and then um, top eight. Yep. So all four and twos from today and all four and twos from yesterday make it into the progression cut. Look at that. Grand special. He gets a green armband. That's just if you have a weekend pass. Us plebs with our uh, FFG only pass. I see. Have yellow. I see. Oh, man, I can't even take this thing off tonight. No, because you're playing again tomorrow. Yeah. So that's a really amazing shot of a bunch of forearms. Uh, I'm sure there's amazing stuff happening underneath there. A ship is going to turn left, and then some rocks are going to get turned around. And that's no longer in range part. <laughs> I got pulled back down. <laughs> I think they need more hands in there. I think so. We should go try to help them. Let's put five more hands in there. <laughs> so overall across the two flights there have been about 120 players at B. Astinius um, many of them have dropped as is typically the case at this point so we're not sure how many are left as for today we started off with about 70 yeah wow this is uh, interesting yeah so depending upon where Fen goes, you may or may not have him in arc. Francois rightly and correctly holding on to that rock for dear life. He wants to make sure there is no doubt. Uh, I think he dodges it. Yep, looks like it. Hey, fun walk. Thanks for all the extra arms. <laughs> X-Wing Octopus. Okay, so now he's going to proxy Fen out as uh. he moves Poe first with the Talon Roll. Which, which leads me to believe that... Now, he spent his focus last round. That's what I'm going to say. So this leads me to believe that Colin's got a clearing... Oh, nope. he's not Talon Rolling. Okay. No, it's just a three. He's just going to focus. I think he recharged his focus here. Yep. Right. So much work. Yeah. That was a hell of a turn. It's not over it's yet. It's not done. No, it's not even. You're right. We still haven't even. There's still one more activation that's still left to go. Fen still has to make a turn. Colin puts his permanent focus back on. That was very permanent last round, which yeah. he had to spend it for the two damage. Um, and Fen does a two bank. Clearing stress. There you go. <laughs> In case we haven't got tired of marking ships and, and proxying, let's let's do another one. Oh, that's nice. Yep. Cycling out targets, keeping the pressure on both those two ships, gets a range one onto that um, non-reinforced low rick, gets uh, a range two with target lock onto Ezra, after all the dust has settled from the repositioning and positioning of ships, so good turn for Colin there. Uh, I think if he's smart and he didn't bump here with Fen, yeah, he coordinates, coordinates the focus. focus to, yes. Uh, big old West gets three hits, and then Ezra is his squad. Yes, that's it. Looks like a range two, but with a focus target lock, it's a high probability of a of a dead Strezra. <laughs> and they're all using the dial covers, so now they don't know whose dial is whose. <laughs> and now they shoot and we pay attention. Absolutely. Yes. I'm not talking at all. <laughs> so, 
So Ezra only has bow. Bow is fine. So, mighty roll three. I don't know. Luck of the Irish. Roll an extra die if you're feeling Irish today. That was Poe on Fen? Francois oh. Poe on Fen's right, 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 right. Fen, I'm assuming? Yep. Should be. Yeah. One goes through. From whom on whom? I have no idea. Okay. Here's Wes's shot for all the money. That might have been one damage on Lorik. We'll have to double get a, a, a double check soon. Yeah. Spin target, and then there we go. And Fen is uh, Ezra is gone. Yep. He did still get two evades though. It's yep. a very resilient ship, all things considered. Once he's stressed, that uh, that ability to turn the focuses to evade tokens and the two evade dice means it hangs on a lot longer than you normally want it to, considering it's a stress dealer. It might even be a bit. Do you think it's a better stress dealer than the old stress hog? With Gunner? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. No question. It's got hey, two Mohan. Arcs. Yeah, we were talking to Francois earlier, and he said that uh, you were part of his crew playing out in Quebec City there. Or Le Banlieu, as it might be. So, did he get any damage into Lorik that turn? I'll go. Maybe one damage, damage I think, I want to say. So the field opens up a bit more for him now. Wes, Wes isn't in the best place. I feel like that's a one bank left coming from Wes. Yeah, he doesn't he, want anything to do with that rock. Yeah. Or would, you, would you hard turn? I think a hard turn is still going over that rock. Okay. I'm honestly not sure anything clears it, but I think the one bank is his best bet. And then he's got the flight assist, assuming nothing's in his arc when he moves. Uh, Poe will be... Fen's got to keep the pressure up. Now, which way do you go left or do you go right with your Lorik, if you're a Francois? Uh, I think I would go... I think right. Ship right, right? Yeah, ship right. Just because he's got a lot more space out there with all the rocks in the way. If he goes the other way, he's going to have to deal with all those rocks. And Poe is flying in that direction. Don't want to get in his way in case he needs to do something crazy, like a four straight boost again. And Fen has two face, face down cards on So Fen's got two life left. Okay. Not a problem. <laughs> going to keep us on our toes. So damage has been updated for the streamers. Yeah, it really looks like it really looks like it's Colin's game to lose at this point. Uh, I mean, Wes isn't a great spot, but we were thinking one bank ship left with Wes. Think he might nick that rock. That's what we were worried about. Yeah, so he decides to go left. Yeah. So Lorik attempts to run, reinforcing the rear. Yes. Is he out of ray focuses at this point? I don't think he was able to store up too many. The action kind of started, I think, on turn three. Yeah. I'm not sure. I did not check while I was up there. Okay, we have the one bank from Wes. And we're only going to be able to tell by events whether or not that hit. Because <laughs> we've got an octopus attack. That seems... <laughs> if anybody heard that in the chat, that was uh, Timbo Slice heroically yelling that he was able to slice a Omega Leader. Awesome. Which we so that means, in the last round. Yeah. So that means that um, Wes obviously didn't clip because he was able to take that focus token. So Francois is playing it smart. Yep. Dodges absolutely. Wes. It doesn't get him anywhere. Which, though, I want to walk back, actually, to the previous turn when he decided to one-bank his Poe for that strategic block. He wanted to line up his arc so that the four straight wouldn't go after that rock. That's what he was setting up there. And good Leading on him for Poe doing that. escape alley? Yeah, absolutely, because you knew you were bumping anyways. At that point, all you're trying to do is point your arc in a direction that gives you advent at an advantage advantageous position the next turn. Mm -hmm. You think Colin's Poe is talent rolling, or is he just going to come around? Uh, 
have talent roll. Talent roll ship left, I think. Yep. Yeah, this is bad for Francois. Mm -hmm. Well, Lorex reinforced in the rear. Fenn's going to take a shot from Poe. Oh, he I, did the 4K instead. Interesting. Same diff. Well, I mean, I think I like the angle of the Talon roll. If he would have Talon rolled to his ship left, it would have given him that angle on on uh, Francois Poe. I guess this this is more of a wait and see situation now, where he can see where he goes. Yep. But Poe on Poe at range three can't be fun for anybody. No, that's, <laughs> that's not going to do anything. <laughs> I will slap you, and then you will slap me back, and we will be fine. Yeah, I once had an end game in a league match uh, versus an opponent with a regen. Um, Poe and I had a regen next wing and we had like 40 minutes left at the end of the game we just slapped at each other so that's turned. Colin's Fen taking zero damage from Francois Poe and him having to shot oof yes Francois having to spend his focus because of hotshot co-pilot right ew ooh and Natty's. Colin is excited about his trip nats Colin decided to use his zero point EPT Available Lorik only this weekend. One. Spends his focus to only take one damage. <coughs> uh, he would have definitely taken at least one. Yeah. Yeah. Just one. It was just one. Colin used the zero point APT on that attack. So Lorik is ready to come about. He's still going to have Fen right behind him. So Wes is still not in love with the fact that there's that little corner of that rock in an inconvenient place for his K-turn. So I feel like he's going to have to bank. He's going to have to veer off. Maybe you just K-turn. Just whatever. Suck Take up. that one damage. It's not a big deal. Can he do two straight after he K-turns? One, yeah, two, so. three, four. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. Still, actually, the K-turn doesn't get him anything. Lorik's going to turn back into the center of the board. And the hard three doesn't clear that rock, does it? Which rock? Hard right. Hard three right with Wes. Does it clear the rock? No. Okay. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, you I mean don't think so. Get you don't think so either? Uh, maybe. I don't think I'd risk it if I was him. Yeah, you don't want to take a range one or two from Lorik. Uh, range two would give him a stress and shut down his K-turn the subsequent round, range one would just be eating a lot of damage. So I think your first impulse was right. He just bank disengage. Boosts, bank boost left, light assist, bank boost right. Do a little, little wiggle. little wiggle. Wes put a little wiggle in it. Yeah, that sets him up for the, for the hard three next turn. Yeah. It's not a bad choice. I mean, at this time, at this point, Colin's got all the time in the world. Yes. His Fen is in a fairly safe position, except from attacks from Francois Poe. And if he can go into the late game with Wes and his Poe against Francois Poe, that's not a bad place to be. Yep. <laughs> Poe is going to lose. He's going to have to focus every single round because Wes is always going to be able to shoot the Poe off there. And that goes back to earlier conversations. People were curious talking about the, um, they don't see the point in the West matchup. Colin's flying a PS11 Poe. He's probably thinking about the mirror and the fact that Wes will be able to strip Poe's focus, yep. forcing him to, to take a focus action or choose between the focus and the boost. Yep. So I guess the, the, K, the K fit. Yeah, but it doesn't look like Wes will have arc on. Oh, uh, the YouTube chat is wondering what the zero point at EPT is that we were talking about over on the stream. It's only available this weekend. We ha we'll flash it up for you on the screen so you know what it does. A completely rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> that was my uh, impersonation. Sorry for anybody I just offended with that. So that's unique, but it's popping up for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Sven just eats a lot of damage in the face. I think that's all he does this turn. I mean, that's what uh, Francois Poe is hoping. Yeah. He's got his one and only shot. So Francois pulled some nice moves here. The best he could do in this situation, I think, he's dodged Wes's arc. Yeah. Uh, he has not dodged Fens, but we've got a reinforced rear. 
So that's and what Colin good. was doing with that measurement there was checking for Flatus Astromech, which mm -hmm. he's allowed to do. And we've got a three straight boost coming. Oh. Absolutely. Which well, he'll be able. Yeah, he'll be able to throw some da potentially some damage into Lorik's front arc. Interesting. Interesting. So here we see Pose, range one shot. Uh, pose ability for three hits. So that's going to be enough to take off Fen, I believe. Ooh, uh, no, it's no, not. Fen is still kicking. So one damage into Fen. Mandalorian tenacity, keeping him around. So Fen's going to have the range two into Lorik's reinforced rear. Which is going to do exactly nothing. Oh, well, actually, he just rolls like that. And he rolls uh, exactly like that. Exactly everything. And it's a crit. <laughs> so they shoot off Hot Cop, and he's going to get Brutal. a crit through his shield. Brutal. Blinded or stunned? I think it was shaken. Shaken? Not stirred, but shaken. Was it shaken? All right, it was shaken. Well, I mean, I don't think he was going to go one forward anyways. It's not, not the worst crit in the world to get there. Oof, uh, pole rolling hot fire. Two hits and a crit. Lorik's going to take one, take <coughs> take a hit and a crit on that one. Oh, it's a crit. Couldn't see. Wasn't direct. Text. Doesn't matter. He dead. Right. Well, no doubt he's stunned. Yeah. Unfortunately, this went downhill pretty fast. For that Francois. did win parachute for, for Francois that turn. Oh, no, it was the first round of shooting, really. It just didn't go his way. I was surprised how much damage Lorik had taken by round two. It's quite a lot. Yeah, he was shields down before the first, after the first round of combat. Yeah, he did the thing where he spent the uh, Lorik's Evade token on the first attack, and then uh, Colin switched targets and shot at Lorik, and Lorik took it all. So, Francois could have had better dice there. Yes. Um, so, Francois is behind it right now. He's got to move before the ship right in front of him. Yep. He desperately needs a focus token. The only good news is Wes is basically irrelevant right now. Yep. Well, he could two straight. Flight assist boost. Yep. Which means that Colin's going to have to go a different direction with his pole. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Uh, gamer, gambler, tuba. Yes, it is the last round of the day. This is round six of day one B. Interesting. So Francois is definitely behind the eight ball here. He wants to be able to give himself avenues to use his green for the regen next turn, but he also doesn't want to be in a bad situation. Uh, hard three focus this round, maybe. Hard three ship right. To try to take over, get out that way. Which means Fen just one forwards, focuses, and shoots off your focus token. I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, Hotshot Fen is really the Poe antidote. Hotshot Fen is very unique as well. <laughs> He's unique. 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 Especially they gave him such a unique ability and then gave uh -huh. him the option to take VI. Which makes him so uniquely <laughs> fun. To play against, yes. yes. Fen's very uniquely fun to play against. <laughs> makes for a very unique uh, <laughs> tabletop experience. <laughs> Actually, I quite like him. Yeah, I don't like him at all. So. Oh, okay, so it goes that way. Maybe trying to bump. Get the bump so he's avoiding at least one attack on him. Can't say that's a bad call at all either. So he focuses and offended the one straight, as you called. I don't know. Colin slapped the dial around. He did the hard two. Somebody did that. Corvinius did call that hard two on Fen, which was Brutal. obviously the right call. This is where he focuses. This is where I'm assuming Colin did a three bank with his pole. I mean, he's been playing very cautious with his pole up yep. until now. 
He usually is very cautious with his Poe. Played against him a couple times. Well, these are the ships that Colin flies all the time. He's He's been rocking Poe for, ooh, i got to feel like almost a year now. Almost yeah. since Poe dropped. As soon as Poe came out. Yeah. yeah. And uh, You used when, to pair him with Han a lot? Yeah. And when Colin is flying casual, he flies T-65s. Yes. So. It's a good list for him. This is his stuff. He's definitely found a very good rhythm. Yeah. I mean, one thing that's interesting to see about his X-Wing play is he, he doesn't worry about not having a shot every round, which is something you have to get used to when you decide to fly the coolest ship in the game of X-Wing. Something with an arc, a normal yeah. arc. Yeah, that's going to have a turn. So that was Fen finally not doing mad damage, spending a target lock. Doing mad to, damage. To do mad damage. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. So the answer is, if you're calling, the, the strategy seems to be just really roll a lot of hits. Yeah. So that's two damage two in the Poe. On Francois, po. That's a heartbreaker. Now we got to see what uh, Colin's Poe does to Francois' Poe. Yeah. Shields down here would be would be bad. This is a range two shot, I believe. Uh, Poe's ability for two. Uh, auto thrusters will not kick in because it was range two. He takes yet another damage and shields down on Poe. And Wes has got nothing. That's unfortunate dice. Who did? I saw that list earlier. Apparently, a Ewing list just beat a Ghost Fen here today. Uh, so Canada a is a magical of... place where miracles and wonderful things do happen. There are unicorns. There's celebration. Breaking news, everybody. <laughs> I don't think the Ewing was alone. <laughs> no, it had like five other rebel ships with it. If it's, it's who I think it was. Yeah. One of them might have been a captured tie. I'm not saying that's who it was, but maybe it might have been. Cassian Andor. <laughs> I think it was Heftober. There are no name pilots in the Ewing pack. No, this dude was flying the PS3 guy, whoever that is. That's Hef. Yeah. <laughs> Heftober. I think it was a JJ Squad member. A what? I think it might have been a JJ Squad member. Which squad is JJ Squad? JJ Squad, they're from, uh, they're from I believe, from Ottawa. Oh, wow. Yeah. They had a big showing here today. They're from Quebec? That makes way more sense. They are from yeah. Quebec. Yeah. Sorry, no offense, JJ Squad. Sorry, guys, we love you guys. Uh, they had a big showing at the Ottawa Regionals. That's why I kind of associated the two. Yeah. Um, amazing players, really wonderful people. Uh, they're from Montreal? Yeah, uh, JJ's uh, JJ, I think, is the store they play oh, okay. out of. JJ. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's what you were saying. Yeah, okay. and shouts out to all of you out there. Well, awesome for them. Uh, chat was saying, yeah, that's a bit of a. It's not, Wes isn't in the greatest position. Um, it's not clear. Not clearing. Not clearing. Bumping. You can fuss and stuff, but no magical unicorn is making that clear. Also, we should take this opportunity to talk about anybody who's interested in worlds. If you're on the east coast of the, uh, of the states or in Canada, sell it, bro. We are definitely still. Timbo is definitely trying to make the dream become a reality. We are trying to launch Home One, which is the party bus uh, from originating in Ontario, heading down to Chicago for a layover, picking up international people out of O'Hare, and uh, heading us all down the world. It's dirt cheap accommodations for four or five days of gaming. If you're interested, check out the Facebook link and find um find it. Reach out to Timbo and get some deets. Get get on the bus. It's gonna be Phenomenal. Get on the bus. Uh, Colin, Colin's kind of put on a clinic here of uh, setting up, making right choices, and, and this kind of a thing. I would have loved a one bank there, but you know, you can't have every single opportunity go your way. Um, well, Barrel, was, oh yeah. Barrel won't do anything for him here. Um, doesn't got a boost. Does he? Yeah. Does, does shit that he has a boost. Oh, he's got flight assist. Rear arc. Love it. Yep. <laughs> Still probably gonna die though. Doesn't matter. No. Shoot, shoot first. Shoots first, strips, well, pose, token. They shoot at token. the same time, yeah, but... Simultaneous fire, yeah, you could plink into damage. Oh, I like it. Target lock going for max damage potential. That makes sense. So Dr. Jekyll says JJ is north suburb of Montreal. Yeah, exactly.
Yeah, there's a couple of other crews out of all, uh, Ottawa besides the Bytowns, but we love the Bytown smugglers as well. Shouts out to them. So this is actually not so bad for Francois Poe. So long as Fen doesn't do crazy evade dice. There again. you go. You finally get to respectable roll and just and dies like he's supposed to. <laughs> respectable, <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, that was that was actually still above average. Gets the fire back still. Yep. Oh, there oh. you go. Finally, Colin's rolling normal dice. Oh, don't care. Finally, Colin rolled dice like a human that turn. Mm -hmm. Did no damage for a change. So should have kissed them. Yeah. yeah. See, that's exactly that was the mistake you made. Colin should have kissed them. Now we have the feared Poe versus Poe final plus Wes. Yeah, well, Wes can hard too. Take a focus token, keep the chase up on Poe. Uh, Collins Poe could come up and just take pot shots at him at range too. Because with the boost, he can decide when or not mm -hmm. to get into range. This is going to be very tough for Francois to actually keep his Poe alive at this point, really. 15 minutes is a long time to run when you can only regen one shield a turn. Yeah. But here's the thing. Francois might be playing for MOV at this point. He may just go, I can't win. Yeah. Uh, not with the other Poe moving after him and it regenning. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, if he could kill Wes, that would be amazing. So that I'm not 100% sure on. Does he dare? Does Francois dare to turn and boost? And this is why Colin is potentially five oh, and yeah. one. And I'm not, because Colin has all the reads. No, no, this is Francois reading. I know, well. and then he's boosting for a range one, you think, or no? I think that's what Colin was thinking, and that's why he did the 4K. Mm. As I'm saying, I was commenting on I didn't like the 4K, and then clearly I was wrong. I think just going into Poe would be better there. The hard two for the block? Yeah. If he thought the hard two was coming. He's target locking, he's not focusing. I'm not sure why. Uh, yeah, because he can shoot off a token no matter what he does. Well, Wes will shoot after Poe, so it won't be relevant. Oh, I see what you're he's saying. He's worried about, yeah, he's figuring gotcha. that if he's going to strip it anyways, he wants to mm -hmm. use that. But I think I still would have focused there with Poe. Because it will help with uh, Francois Poe's defense. Yes. That's why I would have boosted with uh, Francois Poe. Boosted into range one? It wouldn't make range one. Range two? But it would keep your, your butt away from Colin's Poe. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, does he not even have arc? Yeah, they're going to call a judge on that one for sure. Brutal. It's de definitely a judge call. You want to make sure you want that arc is measured. That would be pretty brutal if that's not. It looks out. It does, doesn't it? And the lasers are actually super inaccurate when you're they checking are. those. Yes. Don't so let people use lasers So you're often, this is a good talking, not a talking point or a teaching point, but it's a good communication point. A lot of times we see people in the stream talk about, oh, you should use a laser, use a laser. The problem is if, if you're using the laser high up, or at an oblong angle, you're greatly skewing it based on the way it shows. Whereas measuring at the back, that a plastic stick of ruler is gonna always be a lot more straight. And inside, it consists of a light bulb and a couple mirrors. That's what a laser is. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it's not super science. It's a light bulb and a bunch of mirrors assembled at some factory somewhere. And if it's off, it's off. Absolutely. Because you can hold down the ship, rest your uh, range ruler against the back of the base peg for sturdiness, and really get an accurate reading. Yeah. Woo. So, uh, two hits and a crit, yeah. and he evaded... I think he just lost shields. He lost both shields there, yeah. He evaded one only. Big deal. Poe, range one on Poe. Poe's po. ability for oh, four. Oh, oh my nice. God. Natty. sits down. So Colin decides to use that That's zero point game. EPT yet again That's to the finish game. off the match. potatoes. Literally what just happened. Oh. That's uh. That's our uh, <laughs> shadow casting pilot, casting pilot, uh, Irish leprechaun. So that was a tough matchup. Uh, no, it's it, the, the slightly mirror esque, but. Um, that was an interesting fight. It was it was it was a very well flown match uh, by both of them. Colin just had some had the right read at the right.